Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the most comprehensive preparation app for all exams, Baiju's exam prep. And warm welcome to the series, Concept Capsule series. This series will help you to learn every concept one by one in detail, right? So today's capsule is what? It is the part of programming and data structures that is logical versus bitwise operators. This is very important and in the last year gate exam, 2022 gate exam, we have got a question on this. So while it, let us understand what is the difference between logical and bitwise operators. Before that, this is quick introduction about me. I am Satya with 14 plus years of teaching experience. I have mentored more than 30,000 students all over India. I am qualified in GATE, UGC NET, TS SET and also certified by Cisco. Now guys, what is an operator? Before we understand what is the difference between logical and bitwise, what is an operator? An operator performs operation on operands. Operator performs operation on operands. So what is the difference between this operator, operation and operand? Here is the example. Suppose if you take A plus B, a and B will be operands, addition is operation and plus is operator. So operator plus performs addition operation on A and B operands, right? Now in this example, how many operands we are using? two operands A, B. So is it required to use two operands all the time? This question comes right? No. So based on that, based on number of operands that can be used, operators are classified into three types. How many types? Three types. What are they? Unary operators, binary operators, ternary operators. So you see the name unary operators which use single operand, only one operand. Binary operators perform operation on two operands, hence the name binary. Ternary operators perform operation on three operands, hence the name ternary. We have only one ternary operator that is question mark colon. This is also called conditional operator. We have several unary operators like increment, decrement, logical not, bitwise not, pointer star, address of, sign plus, sign minus, size of, like this we have multiple unary operators. Binary operators are subclassified. We have subclassification for binary operators. What are they? Here you see, there are five different types of binary operators. Arithmetic operators, logical operators, bitwise and shift operators, relational operators, assignment operator. You see what comes under what type? Here carefully observe. In logical category, we have AND or NOT. In bitwise category also, we have AND or NOT. 
सो वी हैव लॉजिकल एंड बिट वाइज एंड लॉजिकल और बिट वाइज और लॉजिकल नॉट बिट वाइज नॉट वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन दिस दैट इज वॉट टूडेज कैप्स्यूल फॉर अस टूडेज कॉन्सेप्ट कैप्स्यूल लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन ऑन ट्रूथ वैल्यूज वट आर ट्रूथ वैल्यूज ट्रू एंड फॉल्स बट बिटवाइज ऑपरेटर्स परफॉर्म ऑपरेशन ऑन बाइनरी डिजिट मीन्स बिट्स वन एंड जीरो हाउ दिस वर्क लेट एस सी एन एग्जाम्पल Suppose A value is seventeen, B value is thirty-seven. C is equal to A. What operator this is? Logical and. Logical and B. That means C is equal to seventeen, logical and thirty-seven. This is logical, right? So logical takes only truth values as input. So here seventeen is there, thirty-seven is there. How they are considered as true or false? Remember in C language, any non-zero value is treated as true. Only zero is treated as false. Any non-zero from minus infinity to plus infinity means negative numbers also treated as true, but zero only treated as false. So seventeen is what non-zero, hence true. Thirty-seven is what non-zero, hence true. So true and true and operation when both inputs are true. output is also true once the result is obtained like this once the computation is performed like this then this true or false are transformed to one or zero so true means what one hence what is c value one now look at bitwise This is bitwise and for the same a and b we are applying bitwise and. How does this work? So d is equal to seventeen bitwise and thirty-seven. Bitwise takes what inputs? Only one or zero binary digits bits. So this is a decimal number. Convert seventeen into decimal. So seventeen in decimal is one zero 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 one, right? Thirty-seven in decimal is one zero 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 one zero one. So always remember we will take minimum standard forms. means minimum 8 bit we take if the value exceed 8 bit we go for 16 bit if it exceed 16 bit we go for 32 bit like that so always represent any value in the standard form so i am taking 8 bit form now bit wise bit wise perform and operation 0 and 0 0 0 and 0 0 0 and 1 0 One and zero, zero, zero and zero, zero, zero and one, zero, zero and zero, zero, one and one, one. So here d value is also what one. Might be you might be thinking so logical and bitwise are same. No, no. Suppose you take. A value as uh, some fourteen, B value as uh, let's say ten. 
now if you apply a and b this will produce what true and true true that means one if you apply a bitwise and b 14 in binary that is 0 0 0 0 8 plus 4, 12 plus 2, 14, 0, and 10 in binary, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. So here, when you do and operation, it is producing what? 10. So every time, you don't get logical and bitwise, same result. Because the mode of operation is different. Similarly, let us look at R operation for the same inputs 1737. If you take R operation, C is equal to 17 or 37. 17 is non zero, so true. 37 is non zero, so true. True or true true that means 1 so c value is 1 and d d equals to 17 bitwise or 37 so 17 convert into binary 0 0 0 1 triple 0 1 and 37 in binary 0 0 1 0 0 1 0 1 now you do or operation bitwise so 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 right this is 53 so d value is 53 whereas c value is 1 while A and B being constant. For the same A and B, when you use logical, you are getting 1. When you use bitwise, you are getting 53. So, logical operation, bitwise operation is not same. Do you understand what is the difference between logical and bitwise? Similarly, logical not. You take truth form, bitwise not. You take binary form and in the binary you do two's complement because in general computer performs two's complement. Okay, so that is the uh, that I am leaving for your homework. So guys, if you are practicing it on 32-bit processor or 64-bit processor, you are supposed to take binary value in 32-bit in 64-bit. Accordingly, the complements and everything works. Okay, so try that. This is what today's capsule. To connect with me, please join my telegram group. This is CS by Satya Narayana. For guidance, PDFs, doubts clearance and for information about all my classes. Okay. I hope today's capsule you have enjoyed. Let us connect back with another capsule in the next class. Till then, have a great time. Take care. Keep liking the session. Keep sharing and subscribe to our Baiju's exam prep get channel. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.